Hi, I'm Buff from Buff Speed Shop. And today we're working on a 1930 Model A. I put in a FSI distributor. Uh, some things you're going to need. And you really don't need a whole lot because this kit comes complete with pretty much everything you need. You don't even need any of the old wiring. Uh, you'll need a half inch wrench to pull this pin out to set your timing. Uh, you'll need a socket to remove that spark plug so you can tell when it's at top dead center as well. And then that little set screw down there with the jam nut on it, you're going to need uh, a 9 16 to tighten it. All of them open end wrenches except for the socket this is the old distributor as you can see it's got a lot of wear on it and play uh, some surface rust when i pulled it out the shaft came with it it came out with it so saved me the problem of having to remove the uh, shaft out of there and then this is also where your ignition attaches you'll be taking that out as well you won't need it and this kit's got pretty much like i said it's got pretty much everything you need uh, to install it and it's fairly simple didn't take me long at all all right We've got our new shaft in. As you can tell, big difference. This one's all worn out. This one's a stainless steel, so it shouldn't rust. And we're gonna install it. Right now we're gonna take the coil out. I've already taken the nuts off of these two. that wire down like so and then I'm gonna have to get a feels like a Phillips head and loosen that all right we got our new coil installed I got this tightened back down just uh, to let you know when you do take this out be sure and hang on to this because if not it will fall through now on this flamethrower the uh, if you put the label facing out this will be your negative side and that's your positive side so that kind of helps you when you're doing putting it in and trying to remember which way is which All right, so they recommend putting a little anti-seize right around here on the top. I really don't have any anti-seize, so what I'm going to use is just a little STP and put in there. I'm just going to put a dab on my finger and just rub it around in there. That way, when I go to put the distributor in, it'll slide in nice and easy. All right, I'll set the distributor in there on this one. As you can see, the ignition sticker will be sticking out away from the engine. And my rotor's right here on the number two, I mean, correction, the number one hot top dead center mark that I had put on. So it fell right into place. Uh, when I put this one in instead of dropping the rod down in the block first I just pushed the uh, extension rod up into the bottom of the distributor as you can see right there it just kind of fits snugly 
and then I just turned this to get it to fall into place so pretty simple and when you set it in there as you can see right now it's lined up with my mark that I put on there earlier so everything's set to be wired up now all I got to do is put my set screw back in here and they do give you a new set screw with the kit all right not sure if I got this on the last part of recorded but anyhow the wiring coming out of the distributor this with the white this black wire with white stripe is going to go to the negative post on your distributor I mean on your coil this yellow wire is going to be grounded to the firewall and this solid black wire is going to go to your ignition switch or starter switch all right so the solid black wire that comes with a kit with this right here goes to the ignition switch goes down through here and goes underneath the floor carpet and goes here to the negative post on the battery it's got an inline fuse that comes with it and they say that if you do it this way it should be fine that the door the little hatch door for the battery inspection won't pinch it once we get that done then and everything's buttoned up you should be able to start it we'll do that here in just a minute all right we got everything buttoned up haven't cleaned all the tools up yet but everything's buttoned up and as you can see she is running smooth as gravy now according to the FSI manufacturer this thing will advance 29 degrees as it's gone it's got centrifugal uh, weights in it with springs and if you have a high compression head they give you different springs that you can also use as well she is purring right along instructions are pretty simple pretty straightforward gives you list by list of what you need to do step by step rather and even there just the diagram is pretty straightforward and simple and as you can see works like a charm I am impressed thank you FSI one thing I do want to point out about this new distributor which is really nice is you don't have to set points like the old distributors uh, all you have to do is pretty much just turn the whole body of the distributor to set the timing so pretty nice you don't have to set points you don't have to set the gap into points uh, you just basically turn it and it'll adjust it either slow it down or speed it up retard it or advance it the nice thing about this distributor also is the, the centrifugal weights in there come set up for a stock Ford four-cylinder 
they do give you extra springs in case you have a high compression head. Alright, we're going to take Billy Bay on a test spin and see how she does. Use the spark advance. 